and then go ahead and download. I'll pause this while this is downloading. So go ahead and click the checkbox to open the, op the optimization and click execute. So in the optimization screen, go ahead and click online. Click the circular arrows to constantly update this screen. And then the setup, if you click on, that'll gain control. Click the enter setup test moves, go in the general setup parameters. You can see it's set to 10 revs per second by default. These are all in revs per second, so you're okay. You don't need to change those, but I'm just gonna dial it down to one rev per second just to make sure I'm moving okay. Enable, there will be a, a brake latch here if you wanna disable the brake, and then you should be able to jog back and forth. If you get a uh, fault, click clear the error on the bottom left hand corner with the QT quit and then you can uh, jog it back and forth to see the actual position increment you can go into the status values and drag it up to the top here and you can see I'm on the uh, negative soft limit so it's just going to stop it's not going to give me an error and then I can move in the positive direction okay So we're good from the C3 Servo Manager. Now that we know we're good, if you go back to the main screen, then you can do a file save as to save this configuration somewhere on your hard drive. And then the next video, I will go into the PAM software.